Hey, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Captain Taylor here at SaltyScales.com. So in this clip on day two of the Mustad Fish Camp featuring Captain Jack with two Kongs fishing charter down a marathon, we're gonna be running and gunning for mahi all the way out to the hump. So once we get into that thousand plus feet of water, we're gonna be using the massive electric drills to deep drop for exotic species like tile fish, snowy grouper, and guys, these are fish that I may have never seen before if I didn't take this trip. So I'm extremely grateful to Jack and Two Conks for showing us this. And I hope you get to learn something. Now stay tuned because clip number two uh, is going to be even that much more exciting. It's when we get into the black fins and the tuna and the pelagic. So I hope you enjoy. Day two, guys. We got the crew. We got Josh, Troy over there, Keith. Hey, hey. Brian, they're all putting on their sunscreen, <laughs> getting ready for another long day on the water. Captain Austin. Captain Austin. So this is Captain Austin with two conks guys. He runs this 39, is it 39 foot? 39. 39. And uh, it's a beautiful boat. What's the plan today, Captain? Uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, venture offshore. We got an offshore today, day today. So what we'll do is we'll make our way to the uh, hump, and we're gonna go look for tuna. But in the middle of that, you'll come across nice dolphin. So we'll stop. And we'll troll for those. We do more of a run and gun. Nice. Um, then we'll get into those. Make our way to the tuna. And we had our fill on that. Uh, we'll take it a little deeper on the electrics and uh, we'll drop down and try and get some uh, barrels, queens, snowies, tiles rosies and see what we got going on and uh should have plenty of time we'll make a drop or two for a sword Let's see if we can get tight Because what happens is the schoolies will come up with them. Little schoolie. Yeah. Guys, these are a local lure made by CJs. We're just trolling these out the back, and that's what they're hitting. Fairly large spinning gear. Captain's looking for the birds, fast trolling through them. It's a pretty aggressive strike that we, we just witnessed. It's pretty neat. You got a spider hitch. And then normally, you know, you, I like tying the double uni, it's a lot quicker. It's fine. So I'll go double, i uh, do spider hitch, double uni, and then you're just doing a uni with, and this is gonna be 50 pound uh, liter fluorocarbon. And uh, your dolphin hooks, you want your long shank. You can use, people like using seven aughts for a little bigger dolphin, I like the six aughts. You know, you're pretty much versatile. You can hook pretty much your smaller ones and your bigger ones. And then you're just pitching cut ballyhoo? Um, I like doing a whole ballyhoo, that way there, it um, it weeds out the smaller dolphin because the bigger ones will come bully them and eat the whole thing in one bite. The smaller ones, you know, they got to take some time to eat it. I don't think he's that big. Maybe, what, 18 inches? Actually, yeah, Cade won't let this one go What speed are you trolling at, Kevin? Um, normally on these these dolphin, I like doing you know seven to eight knots. Seven to eight knots. Yeah, nothing a little too fast. 
But if I do have, you know, if I know there's a big slam or a big bull or cow dolphin following it, and if he's picking at it and not really getting that hook, I want to pick up that speed. I want him to be a little bit more aggressive. So I'll pick it up to nine or 10 knots if, if I really want him to eat. So these basically, you know, we're using your pretty damn heavy snap swivels. So what you're doing is you're just tying a normal uni on this one. Here one. Right. And what pound leader is that? This one, I want to say this one's 200. Either 200 or 250. Now what I like doing is I use two lights. Throwing these lights right on that snap swivel. Can you do like a red, green, white? Um, I like sticking with either greens or whites. Greens or whites. I don't really like reds. No red. Oh, red disappears in deeper water, huh? Yeah. Are, these are pre-rigs. You want to be very careful with these when you're taking them out. Yeah, they call this a chicken rig, and the reason why is you don't want to drop down 700 feet of water and lose one bait and have to bring it right back up. Actually, a lot of people, a lot of guys, they'll go commercial and. Uh, there's some spots out here you'll feel every single hook on one drop. What are we specifically dropping for here? Um, this spot I've had multiple, you know, fish. I've gotten snowies, I've gotten tiles, I've gotten queens, I've gotten barrel fish. It really all depends on what time of the year, what's going to be biting. Now, do you typically electric reel it up uh, to a certain depth and then fight it? Or right on the bottom. Uh, all the way up. All the way up. Because most of these fish, when they come up from that depth, they're they're bloated and they're done. Yeah. Cool. So we got our chicken rig set up. And then what we're gonna use on this one with the current, the current's actually not too bad, I like it. It's about two mile an hour. <laughs> so we're probably gonna use a, no, I'll go with it anyway. These are eight pound stick lead. And then what I like doing is, so this, this leader right here, I normally throw 80 pound test on there. So if it does get stuck, that sinker is going to break off and not your, your setup. Because a lot of this bottom that we're, we're dragging along, it's all hard bottom. Actually, go ahead and grab three more of these. Yeah. Now these squids, what you're doing is more towards the top of the head. You're going in one time. Don't want to rip it. And then come back through and you're going to go one more. So I want to go in and out. Out of there it's going to swim just like that. And these are pre-made and they're already, these are, you know, these little glow skirts. So they're sitting up here in the sun, you know, when they get down there, they're going to be glowing a little bit. Sometimes, you know, a lot of these commercial guys, you want to grab that Jesus Crusher jig out there on the floor. They got you. Those commercial guys, they got their techniques on how to fill it. And, uh, you going to, with all the way up? I mean, up once I get the bite, I want to get that first fish in there. The whole thing's going to be these? Yeah. So we'll get two more on there. These on, you want to hit reset. Yeah. When you hit 
When you hear that beeping noise, that means when it comes up, it's going to stop right there. You don't need to do anything because it'll auto stop. I see color. You got a couple of them, it looks like. Oh, yeah, you got multiple. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe I was. I call it two. Did you see two of them on there? No, you've seen the squid. Now when you're when you're grabbing these so when you're grabbing these swivels, always grab the tops of them, never the bottom. So when he, when it slips, you're gonna get hooked really quick. So grab the top of them that way there. If it slips, you have time to let go. Right out. The belly on that thing. It already feels like it came out of the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> You want to get a film of the reel? Yeah, Did you see the down. screen? Oh. Okay.